Hello everyone, SDI here and I am back with Dark Souls. Now, last episode we talked about how this is the only dragon and probably the last dragon in all of Lodren before they moved away. Now, as you can see, we have some new equipment. A boulder shield? A boulder... Oh, it's just a boulder shield. I want to say boulder side shield. It's just a shield. We have a dragon greatsword. We just unequipped for some bloody reason. Which does a lot of freaking damage. And the description says, This sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, came from the tail of the stone dragon, one of Ash Lake, descendant of the ancient dragons. Now, how can you interpret that? Interpretate that is basically... It's not a true... Many people say it's not a true ancient. While in fact, it is a true ancient. It's true dragon. It's just... He... We can say outlived or is basically a, a fruit from the tree of dragons basically let's call it like that a fruit from the tree of dragons and it as you can see deals a lot of damage but we also wear a witch cloak witch gloves and witch skirt now what we're going to do now is we're going to go to or to undead parish to upgrade our sword and then we're going to go back to the Northern, Northern Undead Asylum. We're gonna go to the Painted World of Amaramis to see Priscilla. And to see, probably see the cult of, well, we're gonna see the remnants well, of the cult of, uh, when it was still a cult of Balka. Now it, it's more likely a full-blown religion in the Dark Souls, but it at one point was, uh, was uh, nothing more but a cult. Then after that we're gonna go and fight... This is 10,000, right? Oh, it's 10,000? Wow! I guess it's the soul well. of a great hero is 10,000. Anyways, uh, then after that we're gonna go and get ourselves... Um, you're probably wondering yourself, why did I not le learn the jester and gesture? And that's actually well, pretty... Pretty... Uh, which nice point of making that, why did I not learn gesture? Well, now we learned it, so there's no more points to be made, I guess. Anyways, let's go and continue use our... Um, our souls for upgrading the weapon. Because, of course, we love the weapon. I like I like the the dragon, the ancient dragon greatsword, though it's just a dragon greatsword. It's just a dragon greatsword. <laughs> okay, I kind of get mixed up with uh, Dark Souls 2. Dragon weapon, if you want to call it like that. Okay, one more. It, it, it's doing 500 damage. It's, it's gonna do 500 damage. Now you can see how powerful the dragon weapons can be, except, well, uh, they have no scaling. So, you know, they are powerful. Oh, whoa, oh, all oh, too powerful. But they have zero scaling. Which is fair. I mean, if you're gonna have a weapon that does 500 damage and then you're gonna put scaling in it, you're just asking for trouble. Anyways, we have no more dragon scales for that. We're gonna need to go and uh, join the Dragon Covenant, which we didn't for reasons. Um, I don't know. I guess I just didn't want to join the Covenant. Anyways, uh, how many Lord Souls do we do we have? Do we have any? No, we do have a. Yeah, Soul of Sif, and we probably did beat. Yeah, we did beat. Yeah, there's the abyss. Okay, we did beat it. So, uh, now we're gonna, this, we're gonna go to Falling Shrine. And I have to just remember. What did I actually say? Okay, we're gonna go to to the Falling Shrine. And now we're gonna go and uh, back to Northern. Northern. Dead, Northern. Northern uh, Undead Asylum. Yeah, say the full name. Fuck Friend. He is a worse liar than Kaif. Cave. Wait, wait. You, you still have moon to catacombs? What? Hmm? You. Okay. You do know that I did ring both bells, and I did even fight a a keeper of an ancient soul. I guess a Lord Soul boss, basically. So, why are they still there? Just if you don't know, drop there. And uh, this is where I, where I uh, basically fail constantly. 
fail. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the point where I basically fail a lot because I seem to be incapable of doing that jump first time. Okay, I just seem incapable. And of course, after the after we go and fight the dragon, the dragon, no, not not dragon, no. sorry. <laughs> But uh, after we fight the chaos, we have chaos. Then we're gonna have to make a divine weapon. Probably, uh, you know, asking yourself, why a divine weapon? Well, um, we're gonna go to the catacombs, and if you don't know how the catacombs work, it's basically like this: you have, um, you have. Uh, you have a lot of skeletons and necro and um, necros basically. What the? F oh come on! That's just that's just cheeky. <laughs> that's not even funny. That's just cheeky. Also, I like the glow on the weapon. If that even is a glow. I think it's a glow. Uh, anyways, as I was uh, not necros but um, necromancers. Yeah, there's, there's necromancers, so they bring back the dead. But if you kill them with a divine weapon or a, well, a holy weapon, it will actually make them incapable. Well, incapable of a... <gasps> well... <laughs> I'm incapable of making that jump. It is sad, honestly, it is sad, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Nothing. There is, as you as you've seen, uh, front is gone. He left us to our own peril, so we're gonna keep trying because that jump is our peril. Well, it depends. Do we have? Oh, we have the grass crash shield. Oh, that's so good. Oh, oh, that's so good. Oh wait, I. I already fought the. Never mind. I, I it seems like I forgot that I fought the, the four kings, and I thought like, okay, I, I need the, I need the grass crash shield with the hevel and this weapon to do it. I just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Punch yourself. Okay, I'm trying to be a little bit of, you know, be a little bit of a cultural person, not be a full on. Navy sealed man. <laughs> I guess a navy man, to be more precise. But yeah, the jump is horrible, and I'm. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's make it a drinking game, I guess. How many times I'm gonna fail? You know, every time I fail, drink. That by the way, that's two drinks right now. That's two drinks right now. So, if you do get you know toxicated, I'm sorry. The blame my skills. And your own willingness to play the game, I guess. Anyways, I have to I have to admit this set quickly becomes one of my favorite sets in the game. Um, if you don't know, my favorite set is the Gwynland set, but uh, this this is a quite lovely set. It has the Bloodborne feel in it, which kind of makes me like. Yo! Damn it! <laughs> oh damn it! Okay, that was uh, that was actually closer than the previous one. So yeah, that's good. Kinda. It's okay, I guess. But anyways, um, this is nothing compared to the to the demon we're gonna fight in uh, Northern Under Asylum. I. I guess spoiler alert for that one, because you know maybe some people still haven't played the game, which is one of the best RPGs out there. I guess reasons. But yeah. Also, I spent a lot of time being bored. Basically, I you know I started watching Sherlock, which is a fucking great show, by the way. <laughs> I fucking love Sherlock. But uh. So close yet so far. Mm. Anyways, uh, yeah, I've been you know we got bored this last couple of days. I um, I'm searching for some you know MMO to play, and the closest MMO I'm you know 
interest in playing is Division. Yep, Division. This is for PC, by, uh, by the way. If I had a PS4, I would play Destiny 2. I know, I know, many people kind of don't have the most favorable view of Destiny, but I kind of want to play it. Kind of want to play it. Um, Division 2, I want to play Division. But then came uh, Black Desert. My friend introduced me to, you know, show me a clip, a gameplay, you know, of it, and I was like, Okay, I can see myself being interested in this. I can see myself. It's a beautiful game. Um, it's cool. I'll work in it. I can see myself being in that one. Uh, I press B. <laughs> and as you can, and you know, I've been searching to see, I know, if I can, uh, you know, how can I, log, you know, join in because Korean MMO is kind of complicated because it needs to go through, uh, through companies and companies to be, you know, allowed on Western servers, on European servers, on Russian servers, I guess, too. So, I've kind of been looking at it, and apparently, there's already been a Russian server. Uh, there's a Korean server, but, duh, it's a Korean MMO. And it's free, but for the West, it's either 30 euros or 50 euros, or I guess dollars or pounds. Well, maybe less pounds, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Maybe it's the same, I don't know. So then I look at it and I go like, uh, okay, so it's a buy to play game. That sucks, cause you know, MMOs are usually free to play, except you know, some of the biggest MMOs out there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I can see it. Okay, it's not free to play. Okay, it's a buy to play, I'm pissed, it's fine. And I keep searching more and more, and then I see something even more interesting. There's microtransactions. There is in-game currency you can buy. Okay, let me just uh, let me just make it something you know clear. Um, you have an uh, this is something re really wrong with MMOs. Uh, you have an MMO that you buy to play. Like I, most examples are well, Black Desert and Elder Scrolls Online, which now is a buy to play. It's no more a subscription-based buy to play game. So you look at them like. I'm not really sure that I think that uh, Elder Scrolls does not have uh, in-game currency. I think I actually stopped thinking about the game ever since it became out. And ever since it was released, it sucked apparently. And I pressed what the fuck game at this point? What the fuck? I pressed B. Okay, new strategy. Uh, and. Is this seriously 13 minutes of me attempting to do a fucking jump? Wow. Wow. Anyways, um, you know, maybe it doesn't have in-game currency. Then we have uh, World of Warcraft, which is also a, well, is a subscription-based buy-to-play game. And, you know, subscribe-to-play game. Oh, no, no, no. I fucked myself. Oh shit! Oh, uh, and and uh, okay, that's fine. Maybe it doesn't have in-game currency. That's fine. Then we come to Black Desert, which is a you know a buy-to-play game. It has in-game currency. Why? If it's a free-to-play game, I will. Totally understand, like, okay, there is currency in it, that's totally fine. Totally, I'm okay with that, you know, if it's a free-to-play game, you're gonna get currency in it, I'm totally fine with it. But no, why when it's a buy-to-play game? I'm already, you know, paying 30 or 50 euros, which apparently 50 euros is way better to play because you have more things than the 30 euro package, but why would I spend more money on it then? You have to be shitting me! For fuck's sake, this is annoying. This at this point is annoying. So yeah, uh, why? I mean, either make it a free to play and have transactions, or make it a buy to play and don't have any transactions because I already paid 50 euros for the game. I don't want to spend another 10, 20, 50, or 100 euros on the game. 
I just don't want to. It makes no fucking sense. Why did I buy the game in the first place if he has microtransactions? That would be the same thing like um, Dark Souls being a uh, buy to play MMO and you have to buy currency to basically customize your character. But you already paid 60 bucks. What? Heck, even if you know Dark Souls is Dark Souls and it has a currency, you know, in-game currency which you can actually buy, I would still be pissed because why would I need to buy more shit if I already have the game? Oh, it worked. Thank the dragons, it worked. Okay. So as I was saying. Um, um why? Just why am I up here? Just why? Not, not about that. Sorry, but uh, why do you have that kind of system? And that just kind of seems. First of all, it seems kind of wrong. Okay. Yeah, I mean that kind of system is wrong. Yeah, we need that key for a ring, which is <laughs> kind of useless at this point. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's kind of useless at this point. But uh, we're gonna get the ring. Just to st explore more of the place. Uh, and you know. It is annoying. Like, if you're gonna make it a buy to play game, then don't make it microtransactions. That's just. that ruins the fun of the game. It just ruins it. There's something better over it. It just ruins it. So, um, I hope you stop drinking because, you, as you've seen it, I, clear, I cleared the jump. Uh, we tried for 16. Well, I'm gonna say 15 minutes straight to jump. And failed, and probably some of you are intoxicated, but it doesn't matter. No, actually, it does. If there's, if you have your sibling in in the room with you, please tell them to call a doctor. You might be intoxicated. Oh, beautiful bird! It's a crow. It's still a bird. <laughs> oh, we're all curled up, and we're, you know, that stone cold face, like, huh? I've seen demons, I've seen walking armor. You think I care about a bird? Zero shits given. <laughs> Basically. So, yeah. Uh, okay, Northern Under Asylum. Oh, it's the welcoming party. What's up, guys? Whoa! Get. Oh, fuck's sake. This is a slow attacking weapon. And this is this is gonna be very interesting guys. Very interesting. What's my dexterity? 12! Oh that's brilliant! <laughs> oh man, this is such this is awful. Like how the fuck do you have 12 like 12 dexterity? Who in their right mind will have 12 dexterity? Um, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna complain. It makes the game more than more uh, challenging. That's good. FYI, that's good. That is not bad. That in not any circumstances is bad. That's good. Okay, down here. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, I, I actually can't. Shit. Well, I, I want to. Use it to get my uh, to get a bigger chance of getting the uh, the Black Knight sword. But uh, hmm, honestly, it does not matter. Why does it not matter? Well, because we have 40 humanity. Yeah. Oh. 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 Damn. Okay, for that I did not hope. Ah, okay. Good. Peculiar doll. Okay, let's read the description of the peculiar doll because it is a very interesting description. A strange doll in a strange dress. There once was an abomination who, who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Okay, Priscilla. We all know, well I hope we all know that Priscilla was feared by the gods. 
because she had uh, she had life hunt. She she basically killed well the humans. Gods are humans in this game, and in, you know they're humans. They're not real gods. Gwen, Gwenavir, Gwendolyn. Oh, surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, hi, Oscar. How's it going? <laughs> I've seen you're mad, huh? Hmm, why are you mad, son? <laughs> oh, seriously, why the fuck are you mad? Oh! You have to be shitting me. A fat... A fat roll, dog, really? Come on. Why? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Oscar, but please give me the crest shield. Oh wait, you can give it to me? Crest shield, uh, a very interesting shield actually. It has of course uh, 100 physical and 80 damage reduction and 55 stability. Crest shield, shield of a nameless knight, likely a high rank knight of Astora. One of the enchanted blue shields, the crest shield greatly reduces magical damage. And looks freaking awesome! Look at it, look at it, look at it. Freaking awesome. Also, this is probably some high house in uh, Astora. Since we know that Oscar is from Astora and, you know, he has it highly in regards. Oh, yeah, not a boulder, by the way. <laughs> Miniature boulder. Oh! Oh! <laughs> The parries are real, man. The parries are real. But in a race, um, as I was saying, he, uh, gods were afraid of Priscilla because of her life drain. Priscilla could literally prove that the gods are humans. They're pygmies. Literally prove it. Because she can steal the fucking life. But she's a half dragon, so she's immortal, ageless. That's right. Not physically, because we can't kill Priscilla. We're not going to. I'm not a heartless human. I'm a... I, 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 I love Priscilla. <laughs> I do not like to kill Priscilla. Oh. Beautiful. I like Paris. Especially in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2. Nah. Just... I love this sword so much. It's my favorite sword. No, I, for longest amount of time, the Black Knight sword was my favorite sword. But you know, right now I just prefer more the the, the dark, the Dragon Grid sword. I just prefer it more because I like it. I like it a lot. This seems like a place you can actually you could jump, but I guess not. Anyways, we're gonna go and rest the bonfire. We're gonna kill the bonfire because. Uh... Oh wait, there's another there's another knight. Maybe I should go and fight the other knight. Well, I, I should. So let's go and fight another knight. Anyways, uh, so yeah, P uh, the gods were afraid of Priscilla because of that of that of her ability. So. They locked her away. Um, we talked about. Oh, sub, dude! <laughs> ah, no luck. We talked about Priscilla being created by Sif. Basically, taking blood of, Gu of Guinevere and, the dra and mixing it with the dragon scales. So. Or maybe it was one of her, one of Guinevere's maidens, something, something like that, you know, either it was one or two, can be both. I'm sorry, it can be both. So, uh, why did Sif create Priscilla? Uh, a possible explanation going with my theory of the whole game is, he wanted revenge. But why revenge? Good question. Why um, on Gwyn, because he could have put, you know, 
by this point Sif is crazy and he could have put in his mind that Gavin is actually at fault at his, you know, at his dragon race being basically extinct by the by Gwyn's hunters or dragon slayers to be more precise. Or it could be because he wanted to recreate the race back and Sif being the only male, which we don't know by the way, dragons can be totally... They don't have any sex because, you know, out of game reasons we cannot see their sex and that's totally fine, honestly. Because Substrate demon. Hope you missed me. Oh, baby. Oh, 800 damage. Oh, baby. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, 800 damage. Okay, run away. Uh, FYI, he's using the Dragon Catalyst. The Demon Catalyst? What? Dragon Catalyst? I wish, no. He's using a Demon Catalyst. The power of the dragons! Oh. The true power of the dragon still lingers in the soul. Spewing it, spewing energy in one hit. Shattering Earth. This is a weapon only masters could wield. Damn it! He can use that ma that uh, ability. Damn it! Oh! Damn! Okay. Good. 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 Damn it! Stop! Damn it! Stop! Sp oh, stop spamming! You asshole! Oh shit! Where's Yavels when you need him? Boom, baby! Yes! <laughs> Where the fuck is Yavel when you need him? <laughs> Titanite slab. So this is where you get your Titanite slab, guys. Remember, this is where you get your Titanite slab. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, gonna jump here, and we're back at our own cell. So yeah, um, we're not gonna go to the painted world. I know it kind of seems useless going there if I'm not gonna kill Priscilla or not gonna explore that much of the area. But I want you guys to see the area. Is it bad that I want to s want for you guys to see an area? Is it really that bad? I don't think it is. Do you? Uh, yeah, um, on Orlando. We're gonna enter the painted world and then I'm gonna end the episode. I think that's fair. That's honestly fair. That's like a 30, it's gonna be like a 32 minute episode. I think that's fair, honestly. And as you've seen, we did not kill, uh, spoiler alert, the illusion of uh, Gwynabir. Because uh, we're not gonna fight my favorite character, that would be just stupid. Weapon durability, 346. Okay, yeah, I can work with that. That's actually pretty decent. It's not bad, it's not even good. Nah, I'm just it's good. It's really good, actually. That's some good durability. Better than Dark Souls 2. Oh, yeah. Better than Dark Souls 2. Shit, everything's paradoxical to durability. I just hope that Mr. Miyazaki implemented the jump button from uh, Dark Souls 2. Because that was a really cool mechanic, okay? That was actually a pretty good mechanic. I liked it a lot. Now, let's talk about something else. This I'm going to talk a little about Dark Souls 2 and the uh, equipment and the uh, durability. I totally believe that it was not a bug, it's not a bug, that it's not like some, you know, accident, that it was meant to be like that. Why do I say that? Well, think about it. There's so many equipment, let's call it protection items, that kind of makes no sense. I mean, if it is a, a glitch or a, if it is a bug, why would they make so many items that 
extend or I guess uh, slow down the decaying process of equipment. It makes no sense. If it is a bug, you should not have that there. But oh wait, it is not a bug. It's actually meant to be like that. They wanted it to be like that. They wanted it to be uh, basically a system of being low durability, but there's a lot of items that prolong that durability. Well, I should say extend that durability. So, you know, that kind of makes a lot of sense. And I can say, like, if it's like that, if it truly is that, then I can accept it. But then again, some people are going to say, like, well, uh, in PS3 and PS4, you know, consoles, it does not decay that fast. Fair enough. That's true. It does not decay as fast. But it still might decay quick, you know, quicker than in Dark Souls 1. And that's why there is that much of a... That's why there is that much equipment of basically extending the durability of, well, equipment. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think that's kind of something like that. It's, it's not basically like, oh no, it's not like that, you know, it's a bug. Um, I don't think it is, honestly. But if it is, then wow, then, you know, just like, congratulations, you actually made those kind of items that are actually going to help people. And you know, you know, it's not like a, you know, maybe it was accidentally put there because you know they didn't think about the glitch, so it, you know, accidentally aligned itself with the glitch, with the bug. Sorry. So yeah, I, I guess they still, don't, you know, I still don't think it's not a bug because they didn't fix it. They never bothered to fix it. Now, of course, you can see like. Really? You expect Dark Souls to fix something that is not that much important to the core gameplay? It is important. If you're gonna nerf um, you know, Dark Magic or Hexes, as it's stupidly named, so Dark Magic looks so much, sounds so much more. Dark Souls sounds so much more. But if you're gonna name it Dark he you know, Hexes and you're gonna nerf them, Hexes are part of the core game, so. Why would you nerf them? Yeah, you know, you see I'm going there basically. It's basically like... It's either, you know... It's either, uh, you know, put there... <laughs> wow. That tracking... <laughs> that freaking tracking that the... That the bloody... Bloody bloody um, colors have is unbelievable, and with this sword you can have it too. For just a low low price of giving up your soul, you're gonna have this awesome sword. Let's all admit, like right, right here, right here. Let's all admit, uh, we would all love to have this sword. I mean, it doesn't have to be full on metal because that'll be a nightmare to carry. So I'll be honest here, it will be a nightmare to carry basically. Like, come on, c c carry this big fucking sword. Damn it, I died. <laughs> Carry this big sword. Carry it, please. It's a freaking nightmare. Um, so yeah, I died. Shit. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I actually did not think about that, honestly. Oh. Well, uh... You know what's next? My awesome duping skills. I would so love to have. I would so, so love to have the Dragon Great Sword. It's such a cool weapon, man. You cannot deny that it's not a cool weapon. It's a freaking awesome weapon. It's a freaking awesome map. You know, it will be impossible to carry it, but it's a freaking awesome map. Like, look at, th look at this. This would be such a big hunk of steel, but then again, you can say, like, well, uh, hello, it's not steel. It's bones. Okay. It's bones. So what? Oh, you think bones can... 
bait a lot. Maybe. Maybe, but you know, then comes the question of... Wait a minute, you're, you're actually po capable of decapitating dragons, but not kill them. Huh? Um, simple. Um, dragons are basically like reptilians, so they can actually grow their parts back, probably. Like, regenerate them, so don't worry about the dragons. Don't worry about them. Honestly, don't worry about them. <laughs> They're good. They're all good. But basically, um, I think something very interesting about this game is... Um, the game itself shows you that the narrative of the game is a lie. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure that's, that, that's like something that the game actually shows you itself, like... Okay, you, you hear the narrative, oh wait, it's all a lie. How is it a lie? Well, look at it. They said that they burned down the trees. They didn't! The Great Hollow leads, leads directly to Ash Lake. One of the places of the dragons. So, hello, I thought the dragons were all killed. But wait, dragons are immortal. Probably dragons that were actually killed were dragons that actually had no scales, which are quite possible to exist, because let's all be honest here. It's possible. It's literally possible. There's there's no guarantee that we're, you know, a one species is equal. Best example, humans. It's the best freaking example you can find out there. Humans. So yeah, I, I think that the whole game... Tell, the game tells you a narrative and then shows you all of these places that actually destroy the narrative. Because it shows you that it's all a lie. Nothing is true that which is being said. And I think it's basically like the narrative of the green and not, uh, and not the true story. There are some bits and pieces that are true, like the furtive pygmy, but not all of it is true, which, which probably means that the, the history is probably long been forgotten, even after the, you know, annals of history were lost. And I think that more the lost means is that they probably the firstborn actually gave it to humans. Let's say that, well, it's not a lie that Grin actually hated humans. It's not a lie, like, there's probably a reason that the whole Gwyn the Pantheon, everything, everyone actually hated humans because they have a great soul. Yes, every freaking human has a great soul. The Dark Soul it's a, is a great soul. And after, you know, after Pygmy divided soul, he basically gave it to all human, all Pygmies, you know, all the, the hollow people. Primordial humans, basically, if you can call them that. And created, you know, the soul as we know it today. So yeah, I think it's quite possibly that at the last, you know, the firstborn losing the annals of history basically means that he gave it to the humans. He basically taught history to humans. He told the truth to humans and that's why a human knows the true story of, of some parts of the story and some parts are basically forgotten because Humans cannot remember everything. That's kind of truthful. And if you tell a story to your grandchild or your child, uh, the child or grandchild will actually remember some parts. It will not remember the whole story, you know, every word exact. And that can lead to some complications, which can lead, you know, if it tells the story to, you know, its child or grandchild, it leads to more and more complication and more and more story becoming different every time being told. And that's why I think the narrative is actually lying. The whole narrative is lying. The whole game is lying to you, but at the same time the game is showing you that they're lying. That there's actually hidden meaning to everything. There's nothing truthful being told in the world of Dark Souls. There's no truth. Except your, what your own eyes see, not what your ears hear, but your eyes see. And that's why Lotrek betrays you, because you believed your eyes, not your ears. I'm oh, sorry, your ears, not your eyes, because when you think him, you know, when you think of him like, hmm, okay, uh, knight, king, you know, 
locked away. Okay, we're gonna, see, we're gonna help him out. He says some creepy things. Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more careful. I'm gonna listen to my ears, but I'm not gonna think there's anything complicated about. It. And then he kills the firekeeper. He simply does. And then you have to pay for your own mistake and we got the painting guardian sword oh praise the moon we got the painting guardian sword oh shit curved sword of honor Lando. painting guardians unique shape with a flat tip the guardians who struck down those who dare threaten the paintings attack in a counter circle dance motion and they think passed down through generations let me ask you something what pictures <laughs> There's only one freaking picture, and that's it. What other pictures? <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. There's a hidden meaning to those guardians, by the way. Wow, the, the episode is 41 minutes long. Eh? Oh, sorry! Oh, it is. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll really appreciate your support. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!